We're digging into the details of that asteroid news that's been making the rounds on social media. For those of you who may not know, this is the riskiest asteroid ever detected and has a slight chance of colliding with Earth in 2029. Sarah and Johanna are here to help us uh, break this down. Okay, so Johanna, I'm a little skeptical when I hear about near misses from asteroids. Yes. Um, how concerned should we be about this one? So there is definitely a chance that the asteroid will hit. And I love this story because I, I love stats and odds and probabilities. Mm -hmm. That's what I get to do for forecasting. And the odds are pretty good, I've got to say. So yesterday... So odds being pr pretty good, meaning that... It will that, hit us. Uh, see, that's not good. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. um, what? But, but, so You're let's, right. let's rephrase that. that well. The odds are high enough that it could hit us, that Johanna feels that that is at least significant, worth talking about. Yes, yeah. I do think it's significant because 1 in 32, that was yesterday, uh, a 1 in 32 odds of the asteroid hitting Earth in 2032 is uh, about the same as winning on a scratch ticket. So I actually bought a couple on the way in. I did not win. It is now being dropped, NASA dropped it today, to 1 in 67. That's still better than your odds of getting struck by lightning, which is about 1 in 15,000. So we're talking and a lot again, of odds here. And again, by better, she means worse. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> Let me just get to the important part, okay. which is Sorry. scientists are not worried. Scientists, despite all of this, despite these crazy high odds, are not worried because this asteroid we only just discovered in December. So we're looking at uh, data that's getting refined minute by minute. The window's closing quickly, though. We have about two months before this asteroid goes behind the sun, and we lose that chance to refine the data. So the odds might go up and down again over the next two months. Again, is that re they refine that path, almost like a, a hurricane landfall path. Oh, interesting. But ultimately, scientists are pretty confident this is going to disappear to zero. So that's why I am being so glib. This is a live shot, by the way, of the solar system. Ah. So <laughs> very interesting to exactly. see what, what is happening here. Uh, Sarah, uh, you're... I'm bringing the fear and loathing to this conversation. Okay. Not the glibness, yes. The first thing I did was plug into my calendar uh, December... 22nd. 22nd to... Uh, we 20, have a date. 2032. I just wanted to You're going to take be, the day off? Uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what I'll be doing, but uh, if that's the if that's it, that's it. Because this is a an asteroid that is four to 100 meters across, traveling 15 times the speed of a high-velocity bullet. I'm not taking this lightly. I don't like this at all. Yeah. Uh, and then here's the other thing, and this is the question I have maybe for you, Joe, is that it circled once already and missed Earth. It is going to now, this is another circulation that's going to hit uh, to not hit, hopefully, uh, 2032. Does that mean it's going to keep circling and this is going to like plague me forever? This is a great question. Yeah, every four years will you have this in your calendar? Yes. And yes, this asteroid does uh, orbit the sun, but uh, we, get, we get one more chance in four years to refine that data even more. And then four years after that is when we're worried about the nearest miss. And I do feel confident that it is going to be a miss. And then after that, the orbit widens again. But I just love that we have, you know, all of these top scientists using all of our telescopes they've got special time on the James Webb telescope just to hone in on this path and again the confidence is that it will be a miss but I love this fact that NASA has to uh, let everyone know if there's a 1% chance they have to let the public know so that's I want to know is what is part of their mandate part of their government? mandate okay that, that yeah. is interesting so bottom line here it is almost certainly going to miss exactly. as as uh, scientists continue to calculate and recalculate